I hope everyone's doing well. I am going to share how I use my planners for my everyday personal life in A5 and in personal. In 2024, I'll be rotating planners and they're going to look almost identical. In fact, they're the same color. And I'm going to share my personal size because this is the one I'm probably going to be in the most. And I will also be sharing my a5 and this one has minor changes but it's not a lot and i can't wait to share with you this is from cloth and paper and it's personal size in the color ash and it is so cute it is stinking cute let's open it up and check it out real quick um i'm gonna leave this kind of simple this year i think my a5 has a little bit more but for my personal i just wanted to keep it simple most of the items are for cloth and paper. As you go along, I'll share where I purchase the other items as well. So for example, this task card is from Casa Vici and it's a little, it has the meditate, relax, exercise, treat yourself, me time. It's just to kind of remind you of what to do every day, just in case you forget to take care of your self care. It's a really quick way to remind yourself. This is from Eternal Gems by Karina. It's on Etsy and I'll put all the links in the description box. Here's some beautiful vellum and with the J for my name, my name is Janie and this is another one. I got this on a Black Friday sale. Everything on Black Friday sale except for like the cover, the cover was full price but um, the inserts for the personal, I got them all on Black Friday I believe and or I just bought them, no I think I bought out everything on Black Friday. For this vision board, I made it in Canva and I picked a template with a lot of, you know, picture frames and I just added my pictures in there and I cut it and I printed it out and then I cut it and then I punched it. So I'll leave all those links for the supplies that I used. I'm not an affiliate for anything, but I'll leave those links in the description box. Here's the year at a glance and I use the zip dot markers to indicate my vacation days and things like that. The next page and back of here says notes and then the next page is just holidays. And then this is from Infinite Lotus and I'm really happy about this. I don't know if I'm gonna put the dots on here since I already did it over here, but I got this because it has like quarterly reviews and things like that. So I like this for goal setting and just like everyday like things that I know are specific to the month, not every day, but maybe every day I'll put in there, but it's just really cool. And you have like your 2024 vision. And right now I just write what I really want for my goals. I don't really necessarily need a goal system. So I'm just going simple this year. And here are the quarterly, this quarter one. And you have on this side, the accomplishments, improvements, notes. It's really neat. I really like how this came out. And then here's Q2. And then we have, again, the accomplishments. Q3. Q4. And that's pretty much it. My next section is an overview dashboard and I just use the dashboards to put my sticky notes in. I enjoy making dashboards like this just to stick on um, the stickers on there and everything. It's just fun and I really like to just pull from there when I need it, especially on the go. I'm thinking about taking this on the go this year, well in 2024. And I have here my beautiful dividers. Let's look at them real quickly here. So I want to show you these right here, the gratitude routine, and I have another one called wellness in the back over here. I made these labels with the brother label maker, and I'll put the link in the description box as well. And these are blank um, dividers here. And I just printed them out, put it in there, done. You have to make sure you buy the white ink cartilage for it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And you just stick them on there, you can take them off. I mean, you can use uh, like a Sharpie or something like that, but I like, I prefer to use the Brother. Really one of my goals in 2024 is to take care of myself more. 
and to, you know, I'm, I am taking care of myself, like for the most part, but I just need more. Like I need more like, uh, resting time. I need more routine. I need more spiritual growth. I need more, um, you know, just to let go of things that I can't control those kinds of things. That's what I mean. And, um, I'm ready for this new change. I've kind of started feeling it already. Like just me, just how even how I post now on Instagram is just totally different. So I'm really, really excited about this upcoming new year and the goals that I'm going to have for myself. And it's just the needs that I need, you know, that I need to meet for myself. So I'm really excited about it. And this is the dashboard at the beginning of our inserts. And I have horizontal inserts and these are really nice. So all the vacation days, everything that I have here, I do the little marker dot pin thing. And then over here, I'm just going to list and things like that priorities. So again, goals, important dates, bills. I may or may not use that here. Um, simple tasks here. We have our calendar here. It's beautiful to the point. I just really put important dates in here. I usually do it in pencil or sometimes if I know it's not going to cancel, I'll put it in pen, but, um, sticky notes, pencil, pen. That's what I use. Just important events that I just kind of need to see the overview here. And we have notes here. And sometimes I really don't use the, these. I probably just use the tasks and notes right here, but I'll show you in a second that section. So again, this is horizontal and it looks the same for every you know, month. At the end of the month, it kind of looks like this. Let me show you. So at the end of the month, we have like a little notes page. And then I love these vellums from cloth and paper. Again, everything is cloth and paper until I say it's not. So uh, let's go over here to notes I put here up to January no no to June yeah June so that's that so we're gonna go to the notes and list pages now and just kind of like everything that's on my brain and then prioritize here and you've seen if you see my um, Instagram you've seen that I actually have a photo there of how I actually do this. So I'll, I'll tag it in the description box as well. So you can kind of see what that looks like. These are really great inserts to prioritize and make sure you're taking it month to month, your priorities, etc. So this is my gratitude section in my personal size agenda. And these inserts are from Infinite Lotus. I decided to put everything in one place because I don't want to be stressed out about where's this or is that. I just want everything in one place and call it a day. I really need to practice more gratitude. It does not mean that I'm not, you know, grateful for things. It just means that I want to be more intentional of the things that happen in my life. And I just want to make sure that I am understanding that even in the bad days, I still have good. So that's the purpose of this section. So for the routine section, OMG, I'm excited about this. I have a mixture of Infinite Lotus and cloth and paper inserts in here. And this first part is from Infinite Lotus and this is the yearly tracker. I was just scouring their website, just kind of looking at everything. And I just fell in love with this because it's annual goals or routines. I mean, then semi-annual routines, quarterly routines, spring routines, summer routines, fall and winter. I mean, that's unique as hell. Like, honestly, I'm just like, whoa, I need this in my life. This is what I definitely need. It's going to be pencil or um, sticky notes in here. And just to make sure that I am you know, being flexible with my routines as well. But look at this monthly routines. What? This is so cool. And then you can track it. Okay, so you have a whole year to track. Okay, so you have, this is one month tracker. And it goes like, look how like extend, like the numbers get bigger, obviously, because it was going through the whole year. But that is so cool, you know? And so I think this is just the coolest thing ever. And I am looking forward to building my routines better. 
And the, this insert right here is from Cloth and Paper. And this is more like a daily routine. So you see how it's broken down so well? I'm just in love with this. I can't wait to start this. So another section that I added is my wellness section. And all of these inserts, except for one, are from Cloth and Paper. So here's a little dashboard. It's beautiful, it's thick. Look at that. And this is where you track, like, say like you're running. There's stickers that go with this and I'm, I'll post a picture on Instagram how I actually fill this out and do an update video. Probably, I'm gonna do quarterly updates if not monthly updates if anything changes. So definitely in January, I'm going to have an update video. I don't know when, but I wanna make sure, okay, either January or February, because I wanna make sure that this is working for me and, and then I'll share like any changes that I have with you. So again, you put like icon stickers here to represent like, say like you're exercising every day or like doing yoga every day, and then you just track right here. So it's really cool little tracker. So the weight tracker insert is from Infinite Lotus, and I'm sharing this um, with everyone, not because I'm going to body shame myself or others. I'm just sharing my journey with my health and I am tracking inflammation. And also I need to lose a little weight because of my disability is I, I, I uh, have cerebral palsy, so I can't walk normally as everyone else. But unfortunately the excess weight on my body is um, impacting how I walk even more. So I have to make a plan to safely and kindly and you know, all those good things to lose weight for my health. It's not a body shaming thing and it's not anything like that towards myself or anyone else. I just have to do what's best for my health. And right now this is what I'm doing to help me lose weight in a way that does not body shame me or anyone, as well as work on my nutrition for myself and not anyone else. So this is what I'm gonna use that for and these, the rest of the inserts are the same on this page. And daily wellness, is this is from Cloth and Paper. We have here today's goal and activity, check-in for sleep, mood, etc., affirmations, and then the meal nutrition plan here. So I really enjoy these um, inserts and I'm gonna start using them in 2024 to really make sure I see the patterns and see how I'm starting to feel and just work on my overall health and mental health. And, you know, I have been doing that for a while, but now I have to kick it into high gear in a way that it's flexible and loving towards myself. So I hope that all makes sense with my wellness goals. This last section, these three things here, plus a, a couple other things um, that I don't, I didn't put in here. These are for a mode term and I bought them off of Amazon and it's personal size. And I put my uh, Casa Vici tabs here and then in the credit card thing. And then in the Zippy, I put my Good Amaze stickers. It is a, you know, like a binder backing or whatever, just to kind of help it, you know, um, protect the pages and things like that. So that's pretty much what this looks like in the personal side. Let's look at the A5 next. This is my A5 and ash from cloth and paper. Again, just like the same thing with my personal. This is all going to be, uh, mostly is gonna be cloth and paper. If not, I'll let you know what the difference is. All right, so this is the like dashboard area and I absolutely love this. This is just so nice. I feel like, oh, this is from Amazon, these little stickers, Casa Vici up here. And then I have office and I have the self-care one, which is the same as the personal. And then I have necessities for my life. This is from cloth and paper. And then these came in a sub box for December, I think. So this is so cool. They're transparent calendars from, again, cloth and paper came in a sub box. This is the beginning. I love this. I've been using this one for a while. I just can't, I can't change it. I love it. Then I added these morning mindset. I don't know if they still sell these on the website. They had a lot of clearance things, so not sure. And I think I got this, yeah, I got this separate and declutter. So you see the differences between my um, personal and A5. 
year. And then you have like the tabbies up here. I got these in a sub box as well. I'm a sub box loyalist. I love it so much. This is the year. Same difference. The same thing, but you know, it has a uh, little stickers here. Also from cloth and paper. And then holidays. And then again, this is the bigger version of the Infinite Lotus year quarterly planning thing and it's pretty cool pretty neat i like it i'm going to planner hop um but because of size and i have also this dashboard again i love dashboards inbox outbox um this is where i'm going to put my vision board i just took it out because i i added a couple things into it and so that's what i'm going to do next but here we have the credit card slots and cloth and paper these two are Casavici, and this is Casavici too. So these are little dots of like lifestyle stickers. Then we have here, this is a little different from, the setup is different from the um, personal because the, on the personal, it's on the side of um, tabbies, and then are here I have them on the bottom. So then I have, you know, these right here. Then again, we have a cool dashboard and then we have you know the vellum and I put it like this the same thing same size and so here I have I have not planned at all this week I thought I was going to I just I'm gonna be honest with you it's been a while and I've been just you know work is wild but I do enjoy looking at this like I really want to make time to have it less wild, if you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's wild. So let's move forward. This is from Casavici. This little uh, notepad, I just stick it, I stuck it in here. I hope she makes personal size of this because this is really cool. It's a notepad, but it's just, or like something to like smaller than this. I think it's it would be really cool. And this tab is from cloth and paper. It's um, from a sub box as well. So we have this. If you hear like a little chirping, it is my cat looking at the little lights that come out when you're using the camera or something glossy. And it goes on the wall, the reflection. So that's what's going on here. So my husband's and I's anniversary is on the 22nd. So I put our signs here with Udame and it's just so cute. I just love it. I'm so happy. And it's gonna be, a, it's been a great five years and I'm very happy and you know, we're, we're just, we're just going strong and, you know, everything's a lesson and you learn and you grow. Now, let's do, look at the change for next year. Then you saw that in my personal, I had the, um, what's my doodles? In my personal, I had horizontal and at the beginning for December of this month, I had horizontal, but for... 2024 I'm going to experiment with this weekly layout from cloth and paper and I think it's cool we'll see how it goes I'll give you an update in January again to you know um share how I'm doing but it's really cool and this is the same thing this is the I think this one was going to go on sale I got this on a sub box um I get a lot of stuff in my sub boxes so I just stay I stay on the sub boxes we have our tasks here, and then we have notes here, and then I think we get into the routines. The routine is gonna be the same thing as um, the personal. You got the annual, the quarterlies. You got um, monthly routines, monthly trackers, the week tracker. Um, I don't know why they put 52, 50, oh, 53 and 54. Maybe it's to track the, the, the first couple of the next year, but I'm not sure. Um, so then we have gratitude again. And under gratitude, notice it says mindful instead of gratitude. Because I already had this already made um, for a couple of years ago, so I just decided to keep it. And then again, we have the wellness log here. Same thing, wellness uh, weight tracker here, we discussed that. And then we have uh, this little pocket document holder. 
And then we have, she keep, Penny keeps on doing that little chirping. And then we have the folder here. So that's pretty much it. That's the difference between everything. For my A5, I am going to probably switch in and out of covers using this one. So using the cortado one and then the ash. So that's probably what I'm going to do with A5 and then um, my personal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you got some ideas and I hope you have a wonderful and safe new year and that the years beyond 2024 are kind and loving towards you. Y'all take care.